as I was coming here, um, I was asked to do either a talk or a little music performance, and I had a little kind of vibe, we call it in the music industry, we call it a vibe, which is like something that's just kind of in your head. It's like either a groove, a melody, or a harmony. And I was kind of humming it along, and I'm like, oh, I, need, I need a piano, I need, to, I need to get this down and record it. And luckily, I got a few of my buddies over here that are gonna help me. Um, I use a, a little software called Logic Pro X, and basically what I can do is I can take a concept that's in my mind and record it down into this multi-track recorder, which is kind of like, you know, if we have any of our wiser elderly people here, it's kind of like what used to be a tape recorder back in ancient times, right? So, uh, <laughs> and I got a couple left, so that was good. <laughs> um, and so basically, what I wanted to do, what I thought would be a cool idea is right now, on the spot, in the next 10 minutes or so, I want to wake you guys up a little bit. I want to show you guys the energy and the inspiration that I get when I create music. Because I'm like, if I sit here and just you know, play and dabble the piano a little bit, I'm like, that's not really, that's not satisfying for me, nor is it going to be satisfying for you. So I'm just going to go, go ahead and um, begin this process. So basically, each minute as I go through tracks, I'm, I'm probably going to layer, I mean, I don't know right now. I'm kind of freestyling all of this. But I'm probably going to layer about six or seven tracks, let's say, right? And as I'm going through this process, I'm going to explain you guys track by track what I'm doing, what's going on in my head, and you're going to hear it in real time being recorded. So I know you can't see my screen with the software, but you can follow along with me. So here we go. So basically, so this is the kind of idea. I had it, I had it this morning. I was dabbling on the piano, which usually is where the inspiration begins. So the first thing that happens when you're creating music, so this is kind of like an R&B contemporary kind of thing. It's got a little groove. It's got some soul in it. You know, it's got a, it's got a nice little vibe. Um, usually, it starts it starts with a little, you know, some chords. So I'm thinking maybe like a four chord thing. So I'm thinking something like, let's see. So. I'm moving my neck, so I'm already kind of got a little bit of a tempo. So before I go ahead and record anything, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kind of tempo map in my head, just to give me a rough outline, right? So let's see. I'm thinking 85. I'm, I'm pretty good at this, so it's probably 80, 80 to 85 beats per minute. That sound about right? Yeah? OK. So basically, all I'm going to do is with my trusted keyboard here, all I got to do is press record, and now this idea is going to come down. Three, four. Three, four. And I'm going to go another four bars. So there we go. Now it should. If I do this correctly, this should loop. And what we have is we have our first layer for a track. So from this, so this is kind of where everything begins for me. Um, it's, it's kind of the foundation and, and where I pull the palette of colors from. So from there, maybe I'll want to go, either I can go for some drums or I can make this a little more mellow. Um, I'm thinking I'm gonna I'm gonna add some atmosphere, maybe some maybe some pads. So pads are basically like you'll hear them like in in backgrounds. They're just kind of like synthesized strings, right? So they're just gonna add add some mood, add a little bit, add, add a little bit of texture to the concept. So same thing. I'm gonna press record. I'm gonna loop, and then I'm gonna hold my chords. Again. And so basically, I just have to touch that up 
and we're in business. So once I have these two layers, then I think the next best thing is, because I'm seeing, I'm seeing you guys are a little too quiet now, so I'm like, maybe I need some drums. Maybe we need to give this a little bit of a kick, right? So I'm just going to pull up some drums here and freestyle this. So I pulled up a little pulled up a little drum kit, as you can hear. We've got that 808 sub bass, We've got a kick, We've got a couple snares, clap, and some hats. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna vibe on it. So basically, on my keyboards here, uh, I'm just gonna kind of use it like a drum machine and program some drums. So here we go. Two, three, four. You just gotta feel it. So that's just gonna loop and it's gonna hold, and then now what we got is. We should have three layers here. I apologize about this. So now, just within a few minutes, now I'm like, okay, I could see something happening here. We're, we're developing a, a concept, a vibe. Um, now the thing is, when you add some drums, Drums go hand in hand with bass. So you need, I, you know, I don't have my trusty bass guitarist here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use some, some keyboard bass. So, so, so basically I'm just gonna layer the bass on top of the drum. So I usually do my drums first and then, and then the bass is kind of accenting um, uh, little nice points of the drums. So again, freestyling, let's see where this goes. So far, how am I doing? Good so far? Uh, not too shabby? Okay. This is freestyle, I swear. I just got all I had in my head was the chords. I admit, I did have that coming in. The rest of it is just, I've done this for years, so this is pretty quick. But basically, what I'm saying is, I'm using the technology as my friend here. I'm using the technology as another musician, as almost a human that I'm pulling energy from. Because when I get instant playback, I can hear it back. I got my band playing back to me. They're giving me feedback. They're, they're influencing what I'm gonna do next. So I'm thinking I need some, I need a top line. I got my Rolly Seaboard here. So this is really cool. I gotta show you guys this because this is a new piece of technology. So this basically I'm gonna use, you can use it in many different ways. I use it to underscore music for films. That's kind of my day-to-day -day job, but um, we're using this in a song context and kind of a concept that someone might be singing over. So um, I'm thinking to use it as kind of like a hook. So I'm gonna see how I can. Again, I'm just gonna freestyle it. So I'm gonna play the loop and then I'm gonna literally just play something over it. If it sounds bad, maybe I'll redo it, you know? That's the great thing about this piece of technology. So here I go. Basically, I mean, I don't know how that, how, how well that turned out. I got to play it back. But basically, basically, I'm just using this as like a lead. It almost sounds kind of like a 
an electric guitar. Except the cool thing about this keyboard versus this keyboard is it's basically a flat surface. So basically I can go in between notes, if you can listen carefully. So all those little bends that you can do with a string on a guitar, or maybe a sitar, you know, all of that you can do with this nice piece of kit. Right? So that's pretty cool. At least I think so. so. I, feel like, I feel like I'm having more fun up here, too. <laughs> Basically what I like to do at the end of building a little concept is I always like to add, I, I know, I'm definitely a technology guy. I love all the technology, but there's at least one human element I need. So luckily I am a musician who does play acoustic instruments as well, and in this case I happen to have these beautiful little tablas over here for me. And these tablas are basically an Indian classical percussion instrument, and they're hand played, they're hand played drums, which I'm gonna play in a second, but I like to use, whether it's a little bit of hand percussion or whether a guitarist friend of mine comes in, a fellow musician, um, or any kind of human element, whether it's the voice, I'm not a great singer myself, but sometimes we'll bring in a vocalist. Um, when, that, when that's added, that seems to make such a, that, that's like the 10-15% of difference where someone goes, oh, this is good, I like this, to where they go, man, there's something about this piece of music that just, I like it, I, I'm attracted to it, right? And that's the human element. So that's the little secret sauce, so to speak. So what I'm gonna do is, I got these mics set up here for the tabla. This is an instrument I've been playing for a long time. I've probably been playing this since I was about three years old. No kidding, you can go check it out online. So um, I do have a lot of practice with this. So when I do come up with ideas, um, I do like to gravitate towards a piano or a tabla or instruments that I'm very quick with because um, ideas are very fleeting, especially in music. I mean, are there, any, are there any writers or creatives or filmmakers in the room? You guys want to give me a show of hands? Yeah? Okay, great. So when those ideas come to you, I don't know about you, but I talk to a lot of creative people and they say that when the ideas come, especially for writers, they got to write them down really quickly. So what I'm doing right now is I'm writing my music. For the most part, what you saw, I'm writing it to technology. So it's being recorded into the computer, and then I go command save and make sure that's saved, right? But um, if I don't do that, if, I'm, if I don't record the concept within just a few minutes, it's fleeting. It leaves me. It leaves my mind. And I was in the shower, or I was dabbling on the piano, or I was walking my dog you know, at the beach or whatever, and if I, don't, if I don't get that idea down, whether it's recording it in the voice memo app or whether I'm near my laptop or my keyboard and put it down, then it's gone. So the whole idea of this is you wanna put your creativity down fast and then don't judge it at that point and then step back and then judge it. Maybe you judge it 24 hours later and you look at it and it's like, ooh, I drew that horrible thing. Like, what was I thinking, right? Or sometimes it's like, wow, that was really good, I should build on that. I should further develop that artistic idea, right? So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna record the tabla, and um, I need to take off the watch for this. And basically I'm gonna have the eight bar loop playing and let's see where we go. Oh, the other thing is this guy. This is a tabla player's best friend. This is talcum powder. And so basically, I have to put a little bit on my hands because when your hands get too uh, sweaty or they're not like dry and silky enough, your hands can't move as fast. They're not as agile on the percussion instrument. So here we go. Let me just make sure this is gonna work well and I'm just gonna press record. Here we go, two, three.
I'm glad you guys enjoyed that part. <laughs> so now I got one, two, three, four, five, six pieces of music that when they're layered is going to create a track. So I have my little, you know, going back to our memory, I had that little electric piano idea that I, I put down. After that, I played some pads, gave it some texture, some atmosphere, breathed some life into it. After that, we needed some drums. We needed some rhythm, right? So I laid down a little beat. And then after the beat, the beat has to be accompanied by some bass. And so I put down a little keyboard bass guitar. And right after that, we had my trusted Roly Seaboard that was playing a little synthy electric guitar sounding lead funky thing. And then uh, at the very end, last but not least, I accompanied the percussion with some tabla. So I layered the drums with some, per with some hand percussion. So let's see how that sounds all together. So this is the uh, moment we've all been waiting for. So I think we got eight bars of music. Funny things I was doing with the rolly there sounded kind of funky. So let's say, oh, that's that again. Let's say I take this out. What I'll do after that is then I'll begin to use my left brain. Then I'll begin to judge a little bit, judge the creativity, so to speak. something like that, I could then go on and further develop that idea, maybe send it to a songwriter, maybe a singer. Um, maybe it could be used in a film soundtrack of a movie that I'm working on, you know? So there's a lot of things that could happen with that, but the key idea here was when that piece of inspiration strikes, you got to get to your trusted buddy, whether it's a piece of technology, whether it's your iPhone, whether it's your pen to pad. Um, I think I want to leave you with that, is that don't chase those fleeting moments. Try to grasp them and uh, observe them 24 hours later so you can build on your, on your creative idea. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.